Is Google losing its grip? In a digital era dominated by giants, DuckDuckGo has quietly emerged as a disruptor, ranking sixth in the most visited websites in the US, pulling in a staggering 2.3 billion monthly visits. Privacy concerns propel this shift, with DuckDuckGo offering a unique alternative to Google Chrome's incognito mode, actively blocking trackers and delivering unbiased search results. Ever wondered why DuckDuckGo is gaining ground and what's prompting this mass migration? According to recent data, DuckDuckGo has secured a prominent position as the sixth most visited website in the United States, pulling in an impressive 2.3 billion monthly visits. To put this into perspective, it's nearly twice as popular as Bing, a major search engine backed by Microsoft. It surpasses the traffic of well-known platforms like Instagram, Twitter, Netflix, Uber, and others that were not mentioned initially. The shock factor lies in the unexpected rise of DuckDuckGo, a privacy-focused alternative that many might have only heard of in passing. Common misconceptions about its relevance are dispelled as its user base reaches 80 million, a number likely closer to 100 million as of 2024. But who was the driving force behind DuckDuckGo's rise? Let's spotlight Gabriel Weinberg, the brain behind this unexpected success story. Born on New Year's Day of 1979, Gabriel attended MIT for his bachelor's and master's degrees, majoring in physics and technology policy. Before DuckDuckGo, Gabriel went into multiple ventures. He initiated LearnAction, an educational product to increase parental involvement in primary schools. Despite its noble cause, it didn't gain much traction, leading him to sell the venture to a nonprofit after 2.5 years. Undeterred, he worked at the nonprofit, accumulating funds for his next endeavor. In 2003, Gabriel created Names Database a social media site that simplifies connections with high school and college peers. The platform's success was undeniable, boasting 20 million free and 50,000 paying users. Despite its success, Gabriel, self-admittedly uninterested in the product, sold it to classmates.com for a reported $10 million in cash in March 2006. Now armed with resources and determined to pursue his true passion, Gabriel dabbled in various side projects. One such project was a Google search results optimizer, filtering out spam and prioritizing direct answers. This laid the foundation for his own search engine, DuckDuckGo.com, launched on February 29, 2008. But did you know that the name DuckDuckGo doesn't have a specific meaning? Unlike many tech entities with carefully crafted names, Gabriel Weinberg chose a name that popped into his head without a deeper significance. It was a spontaneous choice inspired by the children's game, Duck duck, goose. This lack of a specific meaning is intriguing in the tech landscape, where naming often carries strategic weight. Adding to the uniqueness, DuckDuckGo was launched on February 29th, a date that only occurs in leap years. This auspicious timing, occurring once every four years, adds a rarity to DuckDuckGo's origin story, making it stand out in the vast sea of tech startups. In the tech industry, a memorable name can be a game changer. It's the first impression, the quick recall factor. A name like DuckDuckGo might not conform to traditional tech naming conventions, but its distinctiveness contributes to its memorability. Going back to Google, what is making users flock to DuckDuckGo? The answer lies in the emphasis on privacy. DuckDuckGo offers a distinct privacy-focused experience, setting it apart from Chrome's incognito mode. DuckDuckGo goes beyond the superficial privacy features of Chrome's incognito mode. It actively blocks trackers, shielding users from the prying eyes of data collectors. In a world where online privacy is a growing concern, DuckDuckGo's commitment to user anonymity is a crucial differentiator. The impact on website performance is notable. By reducing trackers, DuckDuckGo not only prioritizes user privacy, but also enhances the speed of website loading. This means a faster and more streamlined online experience for users, free from the lags often caused by excessive trackers. So, when it comes to online searches, DuckDuckGo is not just a search engine, it's a privacy-focused ally, disrupting the norm by putting user anonymity at the forefront while simultaneously offering a smoother, faster online experience. Privacy isn't just a feature for DuckDuckGo. 
It's a fundamental principle driving its user-centric approach. In addition, have you ever experienced a noticeable difference in search results between DuckDuckGo and Google? DuckDuckGo's search results also showcase a unique approach free from personalized bias. DuckDuckGo, unlike Google, doesn't tailor results based on a user's previous searches, preferences, or browsing history. This absence of personalized bias is intentional, ensuring that users are presented with a more neutral and diverse range of search results. The implications of personalized results on user perspectives are significant. Google's algorithm, designed to deliver content aligning with a user's beliefs and preferences, can create a filter bubble. This means users are exposed to information that reinforces their existing views, potentially limiting exposure to diverse opinions. DuckDuckGo's commitment to neutrality aims to break free from this filter bubble, providing users with a more objective and unfiltered search experience. But no company faces the journey without hurdles. In its ascent, DuckDuckGo encountered funding challenges. Operating without data collection and showing fewer ads, DuckDuckGo struggled to secure sufficient funds to sustain its popularity. In 2011, the situation changed when Union Square Ventures backed DuckDuckGo with a substantial $3 to $5 million investment, providing the financial boost needed to scale. However, another unexpected obstacle arose, the domain dispute with Google. Google owned the domain duck.com, not as a strategic move against DuckDuckGo, but because they acquired various domains with simple names. Initially, duck.com redirected to Google's search, unintentionally diverting potential users away from DuckDuckGo. Fortunately, the domain war reached a resolution in 2018. Whether driven by goodwill or a desire to sidestep potential antitrust issues, Google handed over the domain to DuckDuckGo. This marked a significant turning point, allowing DuckDuckGo to assert its online identity without the confusion caused by the redirect. Now, have you ever wondered about the engine driving DuckDuckGo's search results? DuckDuckGo doesn't conduct its own searches, but relies on Bing, Microsoft's search engine. This reliance involves a unique process. DuckDuckGo masks user identities and runs searches through Bing. Yet, this partnership is not without its challenges the ongoing tussle with Microsoft centers around user identity masking. DuckDuckGo's commitment to user privacy clashes with Microsoft's concerns, leading to a constant back and forth regarding unmasking and remasking users during searches. This ongoing challenge highlights the complexities of balancing privacy demands with the intricacies of third-party collaborations. The dependence on Bing for search results raises questions about DuckDuckGo's autonomy. While it allows DuckDuckGo to provide users with privacy-focused results, the reliance on Microsoft puts DuckDuckGo in a delicate position. What about profitability? DuckDuckGo operates with a focus on modest financial goals. Although profitable, with an annual revenue of around $100 million, it's far from Google's massive earnings. With its search ads dominating, Google pulls in an astronomical $162 billion annually. Looking ahead, DuckDuckGo faces a unique set of challenges and opportunities. The challenge lies in continuous balancing of maintaining user privacy while navigating complex partnerships, like the ongoing collaboration with Microsoft. On the flip side, the opportunity lies in expanding its user base and solidifying its position as a reliable, privacy-focused alternative in the ever-evolving tech landscape. So, what are your thoughts on DuckDuckGo's journey and would you consider making the switch?